Golden Empire Productions, or Hunter here, and I know this is not my normal type of video, I know, but like, hey, I think it's pretty cool. So anyways, um, before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know, you guys should totally subscribe, um, and like if you like videos like this, I know it's not my normal content, and I know it's not the same that I always do, but anyways. <clears throat> so, uh, before this video starts, I kind of want to like, let you guys know that this is a cage that I just built. I kind of like it, there's actually a toad in here. Um, not not staying here. I just wanted to see how it'd like it. Um, it's been in here a couple hours and uh, it likes it. I did feed them, by the way, so <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Um, basically, has some charcoal, uh, oak leaf composite, uh, aquarium gravel, regular dirt at the bottom, pea gravel, and some moss at the top. So that's pretty much all it is. It has a little creek. It actually goes down to about here. And I really I really like this tank. Actually, I might uh, put something in there. There's some plants. Not too sure what plants. Um, just a lot of moss. Not too sure. This tank size, but it could house frogs or um, price geckos. I don't know. I really like it. The the moss looks amazing. I think it looks. I think it turned out amazing. I just built this today. Anyways, let's get on with the iguana training. So currently, my iguana just stays right here. Um, it has a little heating pad. It has another one in random places around my room. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Heat lamp hanging right here, and a uh, regular UV UVA UVB. I don't know light bulb that doesn't admit. Too much heat, it's just 75 watts. Um, he stays here, um, he's pretty much a free range uh, thing. I keep the humidity up, uh, he stays in here during some times, um, yeah. So he does have a, this is the humidity scale. It's, no, I haven't misted him recently, but very humid here anyways in Arkansas. He is brand new pretty much, just got him a couple days ago. Um, he's a little bit flighty. I really haven't done much training. He's just kind of, kind of walking around my bed right now. And this is going to be my first training session. <laughs> so I'm going to see how he likes it. If I stick my hand close. Yeah, he doesn't like it at all. So we're going to see how it how he likes it in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and get it while he wasn't looking. I just kind of stroked his tail. Um, if you're actually afraid that your iguana is super afraid of you, because if he was super afraid of me, he would have his lap extended and his tail would be ready to whip so he's not too scared of me he's used to me I've had him for like uh, what like three or four days um so yeah he's kind of used to it now so um he's kind of scared of the camera probably so what I'm gonna try to do is pick him up I have picked him up before but I'm gonna do it how you should pick him up so I'm just petting him usually if they're not in their assigned habitat like if they're out and about then they should just let you kind of pick him up, but he doesn't like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna send him over here to my training facility. So basically, just a towel, some watermelon, and some fruit. I mean, some <laughs> watermelon, some spinach. So let's see. Let's go ahead and put him down. <clears throat> so he actually likes spinach. Um, you could, you should probably get some collard greens. He's ate collard greens, but he seems to like spinach just a little bit more. And he loves watermelon. That's his favorite snack. You guys should exper experiment with it. See if he likes bananas, grapes. Um, I fed him all, and he seems to like it all. So, anyways, he's probably gonna be a little bit flighty. This is normal. Normal. This is normal if you have not trained him. Basically, what you're gonna do is just kind of rip up. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Just rip up the spinach and his fruit in front of him. Make sure they see it, obviously. And also, don't be scared of your iguana. Don't push it though, for sure. He's kind of getting in a defensive position. Gonna kind of steal him, put him over here. I'll make sure he smells this watermelon. Yeah, he does. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get back. So, what you're gonna do is just hold this watermelon in your hand. He sees it. Come on, come on, Ringo. Be careful if it's an adult. He will probably try to get it. So, or get your finger or whatever. And let him lick it. Oh, he wants it. Come on, come on. See what he does. I'm just trying to get him a little bit closer. I right, know stop. Now Nope. I'm pretty much just Well, he's trying to bite my finger. <laughs> so I don't know why he actually scoots back when he tries to bite. But anyways, at this point, you should be able to pick him up. So I can't because I'm holding a camera. But anyways, I'm just gonna feed him. Dropped it. He's he's just gonna eat it. That's fine if you do drop it, because he still gets the idea. Of it being in your hand. Now Ringo's already ate many, 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 many times today. 
um, like at least five pieces of spinach and this probably wasn't the best day to do it. Probably should have done it in the morning. So make sure you guys do it in the morning. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna let them eat. Make sure you always feed them like if they're a baby, then nothing or like if it's <laughs> see he can't eat this. This is a bad piece. I didn't even measure it or anything. They can, they will eat the stuff and it might take them a couple minutes. So I'm going to speed up the process for you guys, but make sure you never feed them anything that's bigger than their heads. I mean, they can eat it and they will. They usually find positions. They'll break it off, do whatever they need to. So now go in for a pet. Just wherever you want to, wherever you feel most comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable touching their head that's fine um he's not being defensive he's just kind of being flighty still not used still not used to it <clears throat> you can tell when they're being defensive he may just be defensive over the food he's eating uh depending on how they were raised in the wild but at this point you should be able to to just touch them do things that you may not have been doing before still kind of scared anyways um let's try to feed him some of this you may not want any spinach currently he does not so he's kind of interested with my hamper so just pick him up make sure you do it in kind of a confined space go ahead and get another bite so so if your iguana does not eat off the beginning it may be just because it's full if you've already fed it, and if you cannot seem to get your iguana to eat, then um, the best way to do it is just, if they're babies anyways, kind of make them mad, kind of shove it in their face. I know it sounds mean, but just do this, and then they'll actually lick it, or usually, depending on your iguana. <laughs> and, yes, so, I've personally never had an iguana, but I've had bigger lizards in the past, and honestly, an iguana was no different. So, not a problem for me. Um, Rango looks to be happy, this is like... Wasn't very hard. Still jumping around everywhere. See what he does. Is he gonna eat it on my hand? Is he gonna pet him right now? You see your hand? He might actually climb on me, which is also kind of a good sign. Yeah, must trust me a little bit. And at this point, just go ahead and try to pick him up. See what he does. So Rango's actually on my shoulder. I'm trying to get him down. Okay. So he is now pretty used to my hand. Depending on, like I said, where they came from, it's gonna be a little bit different for each iguana. He's not showing any signs of aggression, just kind of um being passive, I guess. I don't know. Um just 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 worried, I guess. He's worried about what I can do, not what I am going to do. You can see Rango's actually got quite a bit of belly on him. <laughs> He used to not, you used to be able to see his rib cage. It's a pet store, did not feed him well. I did get him at Petco, worst place to buy him, but I feel like I kind of needed to rescue these, or this iguana. They had a couple. One of my friends actually bought the other one. All right, Ringo, Ringo. So basically, if they don't see the food at first, I should try to bite it. I don't know why he does that. I think that's just how they were fed as childs. So but yes, this is a good time to pet him. Hold him in your hands. Do whatever you want to. He's too distracted on the food. Make sure you always go down the scales. As you can see, um, he's about five months old. He's 20 inches long. He's just a baby. And he ate that watermelon like it was nothing. You definitely should not be worried about aggression if they're babies because, well, what are they gonna do whip you with their tiny tail? He actually has a huge tail. He's actually gotten so much greener all my friends pointed out that he's like super green and he has now let's see if he's less flighty or anything pet you see he's still a little bit flighty he's gonna be a little bit still a little bit let's see if he's gonna eat one more he's going he's got missions to do apparently and go, you can't go over there. Did we eat any more watermelon? Also, if you if you're if they're not eating, um you can just do this on their lips if it's a juicy fruit. And once they lick their lips, which they do quite a lot actually, 
should taste it. So watch this. He's already becoming more and more okay with my hand. Let's see if I can pet him on his head because you saw. Yeah, he's still a little bit weird about that. And honestly, he's not even really that flighty. He just kind of seems like curious about everything. This is his first time on the floor. He's been pretty much everywhere else in my room, but I never let him on the floor because he's faster than me and I have... Yep, he's climbing on me. It's probably not worried. Okay, look, see? Now, keep licking their lips and then they're gonna be like, oh, what's that? Yeah, Marengo's just curious. I think this was a successful tame. He's kind of like okay with it. He lets me hold him now. Not bad, not bad. Don't think he wants to bite. His eyes really aren't aggressive. <laughs> That's a successful Gauna tame. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no. Oh no, he's coming on my face.